At Los Alamos, we've developed a process to produce industrial quantities of a high-temperature superconducting tape, a material that has no electrical resistance. Our tape, if used to replace copper wire and cable at electrical substations and switching yards, would save us $16 billion per year, equal to the amount of electricity the entire continent of Africa uses in a year. We start with a commercially available nickel alloy tape. The tape is first electrocleaned to ensure the tape is free from debris and has a smooth, unblemished surface. Next, the tape moves to the ion beam assisted deposition, or IBAD, chamber. The air is pumped out, forming a high vacuum. Then an electron beam and an ion beam are activated. The electron beam vaporizes magnesium oxide and deposits it onto both sides of the tape. The ion beam, angled at 56 degrees to the surface of the tape, sputters off any uneven particles. The magnesium oxide provides a smooth, regularly oriented surface on which the superconducting materials will be deposited. The tape then moves to a pulsed laser deposition system. Inside the system's reaction chamber, the tape is heated and a pulsed excimer laser is activated. The laser impacts one of two circular targets. Each target contains one of two high-temperature superconducting compounds, either yttrium-barium copper oxide or samarium-barium copper oxide. The laser ablates superconducting material from the targets and onto the tape. Several layers of each superconductor are deposited on both sides of the tape. The final step is to coat the tape in a thin one millionth of a meter layer of silver to protect the superconducting materials. The result of the manufacturing process is flexible, easy to install, high temperature superconducting tape that can carry three million amps per square centimeter. 300 times the carrying capacity of an equivalent copper cable. No other process for producing superconductors has achieved these results. Other superconductors are brittle or contain as much as 75 percent silver, making it impossible to reduce production costs. To operate our high temperature superconducting tape requires liquid nitrogen, which is inexpensive to produce and maintain and it costs less than much of the bottled water we drink. Other superconductors use liquid helium, which is costly to produce and difficult to work with. Electricity is at the foundation of our industry and our homes. Our high-temperature superconductor has moved from the realm of imagination to the marketplace. It will revolutionize the way we generate, distribute, and use electricity.